Hello and welcome everyone back to our channel and specifically back to our Flow 2 series. Today in our practice we'll be flowing to Eagle Pose. So you don't need anything for your practice today. We're actually going to start in Child's Pose. So you can swing your feet around to one side. And then take your toes together, heels apart. Widen your knees just a little and then sink your glutes all the way to your heels. Stretch your arms out long and then melt your forehead towards the ground. And starting here in your practice, just to slow through the breath. Relax through the body. Relax through the mind. Mm, beginning to deepen the breath in and out of the nose. Letting those be intentional breaths that fill up through the belly, through the root of your body. And on your next big breath in, we're going to begin to drag the right hand towards the right knee. And then on your inhale, roll forward to table pose. Create a big circle with that right arm. Reach all the way up towards the sky to the front of your mat. And then sink back down to child's pose. Let's try that on the left. So drag the left hand down. Inhale, big circle. Reach all the way forward all the way to the front of your mat and then sink back to child's pose exhale moving back to the right inhale reach the arm up create a big circle and then exhale sink one more time towards the left drag the arm back and then inhale big circle reach all the way up and forward and release that down come now to your table pose plant both hands right underneath the shoulders Spread the fingers nice and wide. Take a big breath in here. And then a big breath out. And then next big breath in. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Press into the bottom left hand. And then exhale, draw your right hand through the left limbs. Come all the way down for a twisted pose here, releasing the shoulder, the head towards the ground. So arm is fully heavy towards the ground. Hips are high, twisting through the upper spine. And then draw a little more intention back to the left hands. Press into the hand to lift yourself up. Reach the right arm back up high. And then exhale, release back to table. Now let's move left, so inhale, reach the left arm up high. Exhale, draw the left arm through the right limbs and come all the way down. So the arm stretches way towards the right. And bring your whole shoulder head towards the ground as the heart twists towards the right side of your mat. Big deep breaths. And again, draw a little more intention back now to the right hand to push yourself all the way back up to table pose. So spread those fingers nice and wide. Draw the wrists right underneath the shoulders, the knees right underneath the hips. And then from here, begin to draw into an active spine, active belly by pressing into the ground to pull the shoulder blades apart. And then draw your belly actively in. So we're going to do some work through the scapular um, muscles of the back right now. So on an inhale, press into the ground to just pull the shoulder blades apart. This is called protraction. On an exhale, we're going to retract the shoulder. So draw the shoulder blades together, sink the heart through the shoulders. Try and keep your belly active. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades apart. And then exhale, retract, draw the shoulder blades together. 
Inhale, press into the ground. Notice just my shoulder blades are pulling apart. Belly is the same. And then exhale, retract. One more time. Inhale, project, press into the ground. And then exhale, retract. And then coming back up, protract, tuck the toes and just come to sit on your heels as you walk your weight back so that your shoulders, your hips are stacked right over top of those heels. We're gonna tuck all of our toes underneath us to sit on our heels to get a nice toe stretch here. So stay here. I'm just gonna come forward to demonstrate to you. Sitting back on the heels, as if this is ever too much, know that you can come all the way up to stack your hips right over top of your knees. So inhale, reach the arms out, spread your fingers nice and wide. And imagine like you're pressing into a wall on either side of your hands. From here, take an inhale. And then exhale, draw your right arm over left and grab for your opposite shoulders. From here, lift your uh, triceps off of your chest and try and pull the shoulder blades apart like that protraction we just created. Can you draw your lowest rib towards the hip creases to keep the core active and in? And then inhale, open, and then press again through the hands into those imaginary walls beside you as the fingers flex towards the wrist. Keep the core active. And those toes may be feeling a big stretch. Let's keep holding. Now exhale, draw the left arm over right, grab opposite shoulders, and then lift your triceps off of your chest. And then protract through the shoulder blades. Keep the chest high, but keep the lowest rib cage drawing towards the hip creases. Big deep breaths, forget about those toes. One more inhale, and then one more exhale. Let's release, come back to table pose. Just drop your toes, let them bang on your mat to just release. And then one more time, let's draw into our active table pose, press into the ground to pull the shoulder blades apart. Draw that belly in by lengthening through the tailbone. So we're gonna do protraction and retraction again. You can stay with the knees down or you can tuck the toes, hover your knees just an inch off of the ground. So inhale, pull the shoulder blades apart in protraction. Keep the knees up, belly in, exhale, retract. Inhale, protraction. Exhale, retraction. One more time, protraction and hold. Big breath in. And then exhale, hips and up. Back to downward facing dog. So from here, spreading the fingers even wider and trying to melt your heart towards those thighs. You can bend the knees back and forth, sway the hips side to side to just let that go. And let the head be heavy. And then invite a gentle bend into your knee as you find stillness. Keeping a micro bend just to keep the knees safe. Two more big breaths here. And then inhale, lift the heels, gaze towards hand space. Then begin to walk towards the top of your mat. Allow your feet to be hip distance apart and bend through the knees and just let your heart melt towards those thighs. Bend your knees any amount to let this just be nice and heavy. Draw more weight to the outer edges of the feet. And then let's slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, keeping those knees nice and bent. Coming all the way to stand at the top of your mat, bringing the feet right underneath the lungs, releasing the arms by your sides. And then big inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Big exhale, fold forward through the hip creases. 
bend the knees inhale lengthen the spine now halfway come to fingertips or walk your hands up your shins for a nice straight long spine exhale fold plant the hands step into your plank pose from here inhale pull the shoulder blades apart like we just did in table pose exhale pinch your sides with your elbows lower down come all the way to the belly release your arms by your sides your toes and then draw your hands by your lowest ribs elbows squeeze in one cobra pose inhale lift and then exhale lower spread the fingers and tuck the toes lift up and back to downward facing dog inhale lift the left leg high on an exhale draw your knee to nose and then step it through in between the hands we're now going to lower down the back knee release the back toes coming for a low lunge so stack your front knee over top of ankle draw the belly in and then reach the arms up high so gazing straight ahead of you keep keeping an active foot active back shin and really keeping that core activated in towards the spine take a big inhale and then exhale cactus your arms in line with your shoulders next big breath and we're just going to open the heart a little bit by squeezing the shoulder blades ever so slightly together and then exhale draw your forearms and pinkies together as you round through the spine draw your chin towards the chest inhale open through the spine squeeze the shoulder blades together exhale round through the spine draw the shoulder blades apart inhale open exhale round now inhale reach the arms all the way up big circle now exhale release the left hand down and twist open any amount to the right reach your two arms in opposite direction and big twist through the spine take a big inhale exhale release the right hand down step into your plank pose inhale here exhale lower all the way down as you pinch your sides with the elbows release the toes walk your hands by your lowest ribs squeeze the elbows in shoulders back inhale lift through the heart deep exhale lower spread the fingers wider tuck the toes lift up and back to downward facing dog big breath in full breath out let's do the other side inhale reach now the left leg high exhale draw your knee to nose and step it through in between the hands now lower the back knee down stacking your front ankle right over top of knee come all the way up so the belly draws in core is active hips are squared and then reach the arms up towards the sky spread the fingertips nice and wide and draw the belly in even more actively bottom foot and bottom shin are super strong and steady big breath in exhale cactus your arms actively in line with shoulders next inhale is to open ever so slightly between the shoulder blades reach the arms back exhale round as you draw fingertips and pinkies together inhale open exhale round inhale open squeeze shoulder blades together exhale round draw the shoulder blades apart inhale reach the arms circle all the way up towards the ceiling 
Now exhale, release the right hand down, twist open to the left any amount. Two arms are really reaching in opposite directions. Big inhale, exhale, release that hand down. Plant your hand and then step that front foot back to plank pose, lift your back knee. Big inhale, pull the shoulder blades apart. Exhale, lower all the way down. Release the toes, inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, bend through the knees, push all the way back to child's pose. Three deep breaths there. Two more deep breaths here. And then spread the fingers nice and wide. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Melt the heart towards the thighs, arms are active, belly is in, keep that bend through the knees. And then gaze towards your hand space, slowly walk towards the top of your mat. Bend those knees, fold forward. And then inhale, follow the hands, come all the way up. Exhale, release your arms by your sides. So let's inhale together with our hands at heart center, come to the top of your space. Big breath in, then exhale, bend your knees and touch the floor. Heel toe, heel toe, your feet closer together, send your bum way back. We're gonna come for a chair pose. So draw your knees and inner thighs close together, and then lengthen the tailbone so the belly draws in, and then reach your arms straight up in line with ears. Just notice as you look down, can you see all 10 of your toes? Can you lift them up and gently place them back down? And then inhale, open your arms into a T just like we did at the beginning of our practice. Now exhale, draw your right arm over left hug hold of opposite elbows. Lift your triceps off of your chest. Pull the shoulder blades apart. And you can stay here, release the hands, and just reach up for opposite hands, keeping that twist through the elbows. Keep the tailbone lengthening and sink a little bit deeper, deeper as we have full eagle arms. So now we pull the triceps away from chest, fingertips away from face. Big breath in. Exhale, fold forward through the hip creases. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Then exhale, fold, plant the hand, step into plank pose. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift through the heart, elbows in, shoulders back. And then exhale, tuck the toes, lift up and back to downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, draw that knee to nose and step it through in between the hands. Pivot your back foot so the back heel is down and then rise all the way up to warrior one. Bend deeply through the front knee, draw the belly in, and then just reach the arms up. Gaze is focused forward. And then draw more weight to the outer edges of your feet. Inhale here, and then exhale cactus through the arms. Take another inhale, open through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades ever so slightly together. Exhale, round, draw forearms and pinkies together, chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. 
Inhale, open. And then exhale, round. Now inhale, open the arms, draw them back into that T. And again, draw your right arm over left, either, either grab for opposite shoulders or straight into eagle arms. Draw the triceps away from chest, fingertips away from face. Gripping through the pads of the feet, keeping belly active and in, pull the shoulder blades apart. One more big breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, sweep them all the way up. Exhale, now release your left hand down. Twist open to the right. Lift your back heel high for a twist. Two arms reaching in opposite directions. Gazing towards that hand or towards the ground. Big breath in. Exhale, release the right hand down. Step to your plank pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift through the heart. And then exhale up and back to downward facing dog. Big breath in and full breath out. Inhale, reach the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, draw that knee to nose and step it through in between the hands. Back foot pivots down. Rise all the way up to your warrior one. So again, hips are squared to the top of your mat. Bend deeply through the front knee. Core is steady and then add the arms. Draw more weight to the outer edges of your feet to lift the arches. Feel steady and strong. Big breath in. Exhale, cactus the arms in line with shoulders. Inhale to open through the heart. Exhale, round forearms and pinkies together, chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. And then exhale, round. Inhale, open. Now stretch those arms into a T. Now draw left arm over right opposite elbows, or you can grab hold of full eagle. Draw the arms away from the chest fingertips, away from the face. Long straight spine. One more big breath in. One more full breath out. Release the arms, inhale, reach them all the way up. Now exhale, release the right hand down, lift through the back heel and twist open to the left any amount. Pause here for a few breaths with an active back leg. Release that top hand down, step into plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, up and back to downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Gaze towards your hand space. Slowly walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, fold, bend through the knees. Sink your bum way back, come to your chair pose. So again, we're gonna lengthen through the tailbone so the belly draws in. And then uh, draw your hands in line with ears. Send your bum back, see if you can see those toes and lift them gently. Then one more time, inhale, arms into a T. Exhale, now draw left arm over right. Grab hold of opposite shoulders. 
Start by lifting the triceps off of the chest. Stay here, reach the arms straight up, grab hold of opposite hands. Now triceps away from chest, fingertips away from face. Big breath in. Exhale, release, fold forward. And then inhale, follow the hands, come all the way up. Exhale, release your arms by your sides and just take a moment to close the eyes. Take a big inhale. And a full exhale. And then opening the eyes, just find a focus ahead of you that isn't moving. And then from here, we're going to inhale here. And then exhale, fold forward through the hip creases, release your hands to the floor. Heel toe, heel toe, your feet again closer together. Come back to that chair pose as you sink the bum way back. Lengthen the tailbone and draw the belly in. Right away, reach your arms in line with shoulders, stretch them out into a T. And then draw your right arm over left, grab opposite elbows, I mean shoulders, or reach around for opposite hands right away. So go into those little movements of triceps away from chest, fingertips away from face. Then keep your gaze focused. Stay here, begin to lift the leg of the left up towards the chest and cross it over the right. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the inner thighs together. You can wrap that toe around shin or use it as a little kickstand to keep you steady. Big, deep breaths. Slow inhale, draw the knee back in. Slow exhale, fold forward and let that go. Heel toe, heel toe, your feet a little wider. Find your peace fingers and just bend deeply through the knees. Pull your heart through the gate of your legs. Draw the shoulders up and down the back. Two deep breaths. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Plant the hands, exhale, heel toe, heel toe, your feet closer together. Last time, bend your knees deeply. Sit back into your chair. Right away, lengthen through the tailbone so the belly is active and in. Draw your arms into a T on an inhale. And then exhale, draw now the left arm over, right, grab hold of opposite shoulders or opposite hands for full eagle arms. Pull the shoulder blades apart, fingertips away from face. Steady gaze. Then inhale, draw now the left knee in towards the chest. Cross that right leg over left. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Wrap that toe around the shin or use it as a kickstand. Steady breath. Inhale, draw the leg in. Exhale, release it, fold forward heavily. Release the hands down, heel toe, heel toe. Your feet wider again. Grab hold of opposite toe or of your toes with your peace fingers and inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, bend through the elbows, fold forward heavily. Deep, steady breaths here. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Then exhale, just bend through your knees to come back to your table pose. 
just to move the feet to one side to come to seated. Swing your feet forward, and then let's come all the way down onto our backs. Hug your knees in towards the chest, and then give yourself a little rock there side to side. Closing the eyes. And then release the soles of the feet towards the ground. Widen the stance of the feet to the outer edges of your mat. And then you can stretch your arms into a T or into a cactus towards the sides of your mat. Just drop your legs towards the right side of your mat. Let the knees fall heavily. Chin can drop towards the left if that's comfortable. And then use your inhale to draw the legs up towards center and exhale to release them down towards the left. You can drop your chin towards the right. Breathe. Inhale, now draw the legs back to center. And then just pressing into the ground to align your spine to neutral. Lengthen your legs out any amount down your mat. Press into the back of the skull to draw the shoulders down the back. And close your eyes even heavier. Let go of your practice. Let go of your breath. And then let yourself just 